guys, this is Luna the Moon Tarot. A very good morning to all of you. So, let's start with the energy update. You know, there's one small update that I want to, uh, or probably not an update, but there's one small thing that I want to say to you all. You know, uh, I do know and I do agree that a lot of you are going through so many things in your life. A reconciliation is happening, not happening. But keep this thing in mind that this is a collective spread. It is not important that it will resonate with each and every one of you. Also, like I say that, you know, in case if you want to be positive in your life and you want to manifest, attract good things, you have to actually work upon yourself. Okay, you can't give up. Mostly I've seen people giving up on the 11th hour just when the manifest manifestation is about to come true. Uh, you know, what I feel is if something is meant to be, will automatically happen. If it's, If something is not meant to be, it is not, it will not happen okay have some trust and have some faith because everything happens with divine timing always remember that divine timing is always at play is always at work all right so you need to understand that not everything uh, will resonate in this particular reading whatever I'm saying because you know I have been reading few comments and few uh, comments are uh, you know few people are dropping comments on my Instagram page the fact is again this is a collective spread it may may not resonate with each and every one of you all right also remember that you know this is a time wherein uh, you know things will happen because we have two big solar eclipses eclipses also uh in this particular month in the last week of this month itself they are things which are not going pretty well so have some faith and just be positive and carry on with your life do not dwell upon things that uh is making you feeling low or sad just be positive and keep manifesting and just have a good life with divine timing everything which is meant to be will happen with you guys all right just be positive have some faith and patience now let's see let's start with your reading today's energy update let's see what the angels has to say okay this is the energy update what is the guidance and advice from the angels please Oh, okay, this is just not fanning out, which used to be, but then we are going to draw one card here. Communicate clearly. There are things which you haven't communicated clearly and you're being asked, you've been called upon to communicate clearly. Probably there are things which uh, you or your person have been keeping uh, under the rug or probably just shrugging under the rug and there are things which needs to be cleared between you both but you know it's not happening because right now is the perfect timing there are things which are going to happen all right so just communicate clearly whenever you get a chance to do that all right and let's see what is your person's energy card of the day Queen of Pentacles, very focused on money, uh, very, very, very focused on money, on concentrating on their career and finances, somebody who uh, has a class, a poise and very much uh, engrossed in their work. You know, with this rabbit, I also feel that they want to achieve a success. They want to climb up the success ladder, ladder and they want to climb it really fast. Okay, whatever they are doing, it is not enough for them. They want to achieve more and they want to achieve it really fast. Work-related energy. Please don't, please, please. Guys, 
don't shoot the messenger i don't know whose energies i'm catching but i'm sure it is amongst one of you only who's watching or any cross watcher here but that's the fact can't help it and we have king of pentacles right here divine counterparts all right now let's see what are the current thoughts and feelings what is the energy check for today current thoughts and feelings please oh my god swords gemini libra aquarius okay okay too many swords energies earth energy taurus Virgo, capricorn what i see right now guys so we have uh six of pentacles we have king of pentacles we have king of swords we have knight of swords and we have six of cups which is telling me your person is definitely trying to gain or strike a balance between personal and professional life uh they're trying to balance um they're trying to balance their life i think there's a lot of imbalance that has been caused in their life because of their work because of their career because of their job because of their business they are very much engrossed and their personal life is also getting neglected and you my dear is a part of their personal life here can be dealing with a libra but i feel that your person strike to is trying to gain some balance they are trying to bring some kind of uh, balance in their finances which i see they are missing because they are giving more than taking and you know whatever they whatever coins that they have there's a certain imbalance in the finances okay they are trying to balance it out they're trying to earn so that they can balance out their finances that is definitely uh something that they are worried about i feel that there are so many uh you know even if they are earning they are spending more than what they are earning because over here if you see they are giving and they are, you know they uh, the pentacle is more as compared to the side where which they have so three is to two ratio sort of so i feel whatever they are earning they are spending more and right now they are worried about their finances with king of pentacles they are very worried about their finances hence in case if you think that they are giving you a cold shoulder they don't have time to talk to you and they're deliberately doing this thing to avoid you then it is not the fact because with king of swords it makes me feel that your person is very 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 uh busy with work and um uh, their working hours can be also erratic that's what i'm hearing from the spirits they want to speak to you they want to come forward to you they would like to catch up uh, they would like to have a com uh, they would like to communicate with you because your memories definitely is there at the back of their mind no matter wherever they are going or whatever they are doing you are always there they do think about you it's just that they are not getting time to communicate with you all right and i think that your memories is the only relief they had while their hectic schedule okay so i see libra uh taurus virgo capricorn also possible swords energy gemini libra aquarius Seven of Swords, the Magician, Queen of Wands, Eight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Temperance, Four of Swords, the Hierophant, Death. Oh my God! Okay. Hmm, one more. Let's pull out one more. And the fourth. Wow. Hmm, <laughs> so <clears throat> I see that uh you may be dealing with uh a Saji, Scorpio, Virgo, quite prominent on the cards. 
But with seven of swords starting from the second row, I feel that your person has been fooling around you and themselves because they are not telling you the true feelings that they have for you. Okay, they they think about you, but then they are telling them not to. Okay, you don't have anything. They don't have anything to do with you. And they kind of run away from their own uh, thoughts, their own feelings. There's a lack of acceptance here. But with the magician card, I see that, you know, when this Mercury thing ended, I've been getting this card almost on a uh, uh, daily basis. With the magician, I feel that this person is manifesting a good life before they come forward towards you in terms of their finances, stability, uh, in terms of their work career and in terms of their personal growth as well because they want to become a better man or a woman before they come back towards you. With Queen of Wands, I feel they see you as somebody. This Queen of Wands energy is quite a um, regular one <laughs> i don't know who is the queen of one ones amongst you but then they see you as very attractive they feel very attracted towards you they have this pull towards you and they see you and they feel very 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 um driven when they uh see you okay towards you uh life is never monotonous with you life is fun life is full of adventure they feel uh so uh fiery whenever they are around you they know that you are a queen and you know how to lead from the front you know how to take care of stuff you know how to take care of your own shit basically and they know that you are somebody who would not back down that easily you're sort of a fighter and you have fought enough of battles uh you know how to get your things done uh, you are not naive not at all naive and you are somebody who is quite an experienced one uh for you life is like an adventure you are a risk taker and you may have failed, but at the same point of time, you have such an aura, such optimism and such uh, positivity that you carry, such confidence and courage that you carry. With Eight of Swords, I feel that, you know, that your person feels that you kind uh, that they are kind of stuck. They are not able to move forward. They want a good life, but they are not even expressing their own thoughts and feelings. They are not even accepting their own thoughts and feelings uh, towards you and this connection however they are ready to wait and watch their focus what i feel is first on their finances to improve their finances their situations and they want to see how this connection will grow all this while because this person is somebody who is going to take a hell lot of time okay this person is very slow uh, when it comes to commitment, when it comes to uh, giving their heart uh, or proposal uh, as well, because uh, this person is somebody who likes to observe, who likes to know about the person first. They just don't like to get in head first. Okay, this person is somebody who will take time from their own trust, take their own sweet time, and that is when they are going to come forward towards you. With the Temperance card, I feel a Sagittarius energy is definitely involved here. Um, uh, they are trying to balance and heal. Uh, with Four of Swords, I feel that they are uh, maybe in a no contact period with you, or probably minimal conversation is happening. But they have gone into a shell and they are trying to self introspect as to what exactly they need to do, what direction they need to give to uh, in this uh, or to, uh, to this particular connection they have with you. Because they can't, I feel they can't let you go, they can't let you in because they are very attracted towards you, but they can't even accept that. This person has a lot of phobias, I feel. Okay? but this person is definitely trying to introspect as to what direction they should give however i see there is an ending to a certain idea they have been trying to force or push upon you in the recent past and there is a new beginning this person wants to take a leap of faith okay and start this connection again but with a different approach now let's see why the death card is here yeah so there is a certain idea or certain approach that has come towards an end okay and they want to approach you with a new one they want to rebuild it so why is the fool card here why is the fool card here in the spread why is the fool card here in the spread why is the fool card here please give me a clarifying card why is the fool card here 
ten of cups and seven of wands i feel that you know they want to end up all the challenges in their life that they are facing and they are already working towards it because they want to uh, give you a higher level of commitment which is 10 of cups here they want to have family with you they want to have children with you they want to have a forever with you and that is the new beginning they are preparing for guys you know you're gonna ask me Neha you, go, you are saying this from such a long time but guys divine timings okay divine timing nothing is going to happen overnight for you and this person if this reading is resonating with you this person is a uh, hard work okay this person is definitely a hard work it is not going to happen that easily and overnight all right so take how it may resonate now let's see what does this person running away from why is this seven, seven of swords here right so this person oh my god this person is actually running away from communicating with you to give you a clarity uh there is certain breakthrough that has come towards them and they are trying to run away from that um i feel that they want to speak to you they are kind of uh stalking you they are kind of observing you from afar but they are not telling you this thing but there is a breakthrough that has come and they want to communicate with you and they want to take this relationship or connection forward with you okay so they are kind of running away from their own ex uh, thoughts and feelings and the breakthrough that they have received it's like they are taking time for acceptance okay now let's see why seven of pentacles is here what, what are they waiting for what are they waiting for the star aquarius energy i feel that they are waiting for some kind of they are waiting for their wish fulfillment because Aquarius is also a star card is also a wish fulfillment card you are their wish fulfillment they want things to work out in a way wherein you know they are able to move on head uh, move on from their challenges and come towards you because their challenges are something um, you know which is keeping them away from you and that is something they want to cover up as soon as possible and they are just wishing and praying that they are able to do that as soon as possible now i want to know what are they manifesting why is the magician card here what are they manifesting it is clarified by two of cups see partnership with you they are manifesting a connection a union with you soulmate connection undoubtedly but they are manifesting a union with you with page of wands they have been quite in and out in the recent past but now they want to give it a full stop and they want to come in a union with you okay they want to be in a union with you they don't want to be in and out they are done with that too and they want to give it a full stop okay now why is eight of swords here what are why are they feeling direct less and stuck wow i mean guys did you just see that they feel like home with you okay whenever they think about you you are like home coming home to them okay you are their sense of belongingness they want to get married to you they want to get, settle down with you they want to have a family with you they want to uh have a house with you they want to live under the same roof they want to offer you this ten of pentacles which is a forever okay so we have ten of cups we have ten of pentacles we have four of wands we have two of cups what else can you ask for so this person is basically uh they know that they have strong feelings for you they want to have a forever with you they want to be with you they want to get married to you but they are feeling stuck because of their own self-inflicted challenges here okay and they are stuck because they are stuck because i feel that you know they want to come forward but uh their challenges are such that they are unable to they want to first finish off with their challenges whatever they are fighting uh probably their past packages probably their financial situations uh that is demanding their uh time a lot i feel that this person is very much invested in their career and that is something that they are uh focusing upon and they know that in case if they come forward they uh would not be able to give you the amount of time which is required uh, to you and that is something which is disturbing them okay because they want to be with you but their work situation is such that you know they are not able to balance you out and they are just not able to do anything about it they are just not able to do anything about it 
okay now let's see now let's see what why why uh, do we have six of pentacles here what is unbalanced in their life what is unbalanced right so right so right now they are not taking any decision basis on their emotions whatever they are doing it is based on their uh, thought process on their thinking and they are taking wise decisions they are being very practical for now and right now they just want to concentrate on their work on their career they miss you okay your thought is always there on their mind but they know that right now if they come towards you they won't be able to give you time let's see why is six of cups here I would know I mean I have already told you why it is there but still I want to ask what are they missing what memories oh my god didn't I tell you that queen of pentacles and king of pentacles you are their divine counterpart and they know that you know they are missing you they want to be with you your your thought always crosses their mind but right now they are not doing justice to you libra energy because uh, they know that they are so much uh, concentrating on their work on their career that in case even if they come forward they won't be able to give you time and they won't be able to balance out the situation and they are um, and right now as well they are they haven't done justice to you and they would not be able to do justice to you um, and at the given point of time because they are way too busy and invested in their career okay now what are they healing from temperance what are they trying to balance themselves from and healing from why is the temperance here imprints they're balancing they're healing because for them you are the imprints empress okay oh my god <laughs> okay empress and you know they they want to come straight forward uh, and they want to come right towards you because you are the empress and they know that you are just not anybody you are very special they treat you as their priority they put you up on a pedestal but since you are just not anybody in their life they want to come in right and they want to come in straight okay now let's see uh, what is the outcome here they are shedding off their uh, their burden right now they are feeling overworked overwhelmed with all the emotions and all the work they are handling this person cannot be even uh, can even this person may not be even sleeping on time properly uh, feeling a lot of exhaustion and overworked and overburdened because ten of wands tell me that this person is carrying a lot of baggage they are feeling sorry about how they are treating you or probably how they have treated you in the recent past they are trying to hide their feelings from you and not tell you what exactly they are feeling or uh, you know what exactly they have in their heart for you they are keeping their heart closed for now because they know that they can't afford to get involved in this particular connection that's what I feel with page of cups I feel that this person is quite sorry and apologetic uh, with the way they have been treating you but it is not going to be too long before they come towards you and the wheel of fortune will definitely turn and, uh, and there will be a lot of abundance that is going to come in in this particular relationship and between you both okay right and they will be out of all the anxieties and fears of you moving on because they are also worried what if you actually move on and what are you thinking about them and because they know that they have abandoned you okay in a way with five of pentacles but they are also juggling with their finances with three of wands i also feel this person is definitely waiting for something to come over from international trade or something but definitely there is a waiting game involved in this particular connection guys so don't cry in the comment section and don't dm me this person is a hard work you are the one who chose this person right so this person is going to take time guys this person is slow okay and a hard work undoubtedly oh, what a choice guys all right now let's see the messages from your person you light up my life i want to meet you yes they do what else do we have i'm afraid of rejection they are afraid because nine of swords is here didn't i tell you that that they have abandoned you and now they are feeling in anxious and there's a lot of anxiety what if you actually move on from them right i want to kiss you they want to kiss you okay 
I like you. Our connection still affects me. I feel thankful to have you in my life. What else? I'm sexually attracted to you. You are the only person who truly gets me. Right. I mean, these readings match. You know, these messages actually match with the readings, right? I will make things right between us one day correct i need more time to figure out things yet again it's really hard for me to open up yes we know you still uh, take my breath away we know that already i'm still trying to find myself yes i've looked you up online to see what you're up to stalker i'm afraid to take that next step right now i want to marry you and that's about it guys thank you so much for tuning in but Again, this person is a very hard work, whosoever that you have been dating in the past, have dated, thinking to date, etc, etc, etc. Okay, if you have, if you want, wait. If you don't want, move on. That's all that I have to say. But do not DM me that why your person is not coming towards you. <laughs> this is a collective spread. It may, may not resonate with each and every one of you. So take what resonates, leave the rest. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye.